Alright, please say your name and date of birth and talk loudly so the recorder can pick you up, please. Uh, Thompson Benjamin Davis, born July 14th, 1977. What were you doing on the day of December 19th, 2021? I told you already. I was at the clothes drop-off off the highway in Worcester. Doing what? Shopping for clothes and toys. So, what are you doing with this guy then? Did he have the trains you wanted? Maybe a shiny wristwatch and you didn't have enough money to pay for it with? Is that what you're seeing these pictures show? We saw you. We have pictures. Just give us a confession and this will all be done quicker. You really can't see it, can you? I want my phone call. And my lawyer. Well, sorry to break your heart, kid. But we know Miss Winter's on her way now. So that leaves us ten minutes left with you. Now talk, damn it. I wish I can help you see. You will just never learn, will you? Always seeing the world in black and white. It is gorgeous over here, sir! What Finn. kind of shit did you just say to Finn. me? Just Finn. 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 Say. Finn. Finn. Let it go. Let it go. Go for a walk outside. I'll give him the talk. Look, I don't mean to disrespect you, either of you. This job puts so much pressure and ideals into the both of you. That's why I want you to see what I see, but you just won't. Have a good day, detective. Best of luck. Please, if there's anything you could do to help me. Don't worry about it. For your troubles. Thank you. Hello, Finn. Taking away another one of my boys, are you? Nothing personal. I'm just following the oath I gave eight years ago. Private property. That's the bullshit your oath allows you to pull on me. <sighs> Taking pictures, including the incriminating kind, of a man on private property without his permission and without a warrant? That's illegal. You know this, Finn. Has this job taught you nothing? I've gained the satisfaction of putting criminals away for good. You're just an obstacle in the way. Is that really all you think of us, grumpy old Finn? You want to get a drink? You look like you could use a load off. I still have work to do. Take a break. You, you need a break. Allow yourself to meet some new people. Have some fun. Hang out with your loved ones by the fire drinking and listen to the music of your time. I don't have those. This job is consuming you. I'm willing to be your friend. Give, give you a breather. I breathe. When I get these men and women safe from the criminals, I have too much respect for innocent people. And where are you willing to draw that line? The law, Winter, the law. You of all people should not know that. You took an oath and so did I. How dare you ask me that question? It's not all black and... You know what? Allow this job to keep. Uh, can I actually get the chicken tender wrap with the chips? Um, oh, and can I also get a, like a glass of water? Glass of water? Absolutely. Thank you. And anything for you? Just coffee. All right, just coffee? All right, I'll have that out for you in just a minute, guys. Thanks. Absolutely. I told you I was buying. I'm gonna get something more. Why didn't we just stay in your office and finish our work there? Because... We have to get out of that place every now and then, dude. I mean, I feel so much pressure being in there all day. How do you do it?
I would just do anything to stay at home all day. And getting distracted from your job? No. Well, maybe, but more importantly, seeing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? He's gonna be two in January. <laughs> God, I would do anything to stay at home and just watch him grow and learn more about him every day. Maria has done a great job at staying home, but I didn't want her to be a stay-at-home mom. I mean, she gave up her dreams all for him. So, mom, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any children? A wife or girlfriend? You quit your job instead of continuing your work at home. There's positions for that. You don't need to leave. Yeah, I quit. I don't want my son seeing the crazy crap that goes on in this world. It consumes you and you see the worst in people daily. There's drug dealing and manufacturing and rape and arson, theft, assault, homicide. It's terrible. And this little guy is my escape. I mean, it's him that makes me feel human again. Surely you have one of those, right? An escape. This is my life, Norman. Nothing else. I wake up, go to the station, then after a long productive day, I continue this cycle. What about Miss Winter? She seems very nice. Why don't you go do something with after her? After everything you do, Norman, people don't really know you. Whether it be your job, family, something for yourself, why you do the things you do, the ones you love, the ones who love you too. Then help them too. For God's sakes, man, there's more to this job, trust me. Having a home to go to with people that love you and care about you is an amazing feeling. Especially after this job. Go to Miss Winter and try it out. Yeah, that didn't exactly work out the last time. All right, guys the water and the chicken tender wrap with chips awesome. and coffee. Cool, thank you so much. And you guys let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Thank you. Absolutely. This week I got him this Okay, time. wait, don't bring this in here, please. Honey, Josh, what? I want you to put him to bed. Yeah, just give me a sec, please. Why don't you go wait in the car? I'll be outside in 10 minutes. 
time. So this is the Thompson guy I picked up on Tuesday? Yeah, Miss Winter's case. All the paperwork from that day, including the evidence and some new evidence that just got noticed. So what made you want to stick with this guy? He's putting on an act. You think everyone's putting on an act? <laughs> when have I been wrong? Not since I met you. Holy shit, did you? What? Did you take these? I just told you, he's putting on an act. I couldn't just let him go free. Wait, isn't... This is the reason why we couldn't stick him last time. I checked. These stores are all public places in our region of collecting evidence. When did you take these? It's Friday. When I left lunch. I saw him walking to his car and I followed. Okay, and what kind of illegal things did you think he did? He's part of a child trafficking operation. And you got that from the clothes and the toys? The small clothing, the immense amount of food. And where did the money come from? From when we caught him selling drugs in the department on Sunday. Exactly. Don't you think he's just selling the drugs? He could be making them too. Look at this, we got him. No, we don't, Finn. Okay, look, what if he's, I don't know, doing all of this to support them? What? Why else would he be selling drugs and acting like this in public? Does this look like a good man? I don't know, kind of. That's what he wants you to think, Norman. He's playing you. Don't play his game. Look, family does crazy things to you, Finn, okay? A man's gotta provide for his family. He's an only child and so are both of his parents. He was divorced twice, but his record shows no support of child payments. He has no family. Okay. So, what if he's doing this to help others? What is wrong with you and Miss Winter? You both are doing this job to help make the world a better place, and having a druggie and a liar on my streets makes it unsafe. I'm not saying that, I'm just trying to offer another plausible Read the report, the Norman, you'll know what you just said is bullshit. And the fact that you're making me rethink what I'm doing is annoying me. Leave. I'm just trying to- What did I say? See this? This is my golden ticket to putting your despicable ass in jail. Manipulating, deceiving, don't work on me. Look at how you treat this child. He has a future, but your drug-loving life has ruined it. Your outlook consumed him. Can I say something, Detective? Oh. Please, I'd love to hear what you have made up for this moment. 
Let me hear it, scum. This... This is my son, Jack Davis, my only child. I sell drugs to get money to take care of him as much as I can. His mother left after he got his autism diagnosis and didn't give me any money. And after my mental diagnosis, no one will ever hire me. So now that you know the truth, look my son in the eyes. Don't fight it, detective. Let my words influence what you see. I told you it was pretty in here. <clears throat> Don't ever let me see you again. Go home. Well, then where are you going? I'm gonna fix the biggest mistake I made. Don't be scared when a wave paralyzes your state at the gate.